Greg Tardif shaving with Greg Tardif and I just got the artifact by Phoenix shaving it's uh, to celebrate their 10 years of being Phoenix shaving and I think it's an adorable razor it's based on an extremely rare safety razor 80 to 90 years ago and so rare that a lot of the information about it is unknown, but they probably got it right, right? I think so, probably, probably. Gold-plated brass top cap, Bakelite handle. It's uh, very solid, in fact. Typically with me and Bakelite handles, Bakelite razors, I am kind of skeptical because the weight is less than for me. It's, it's a lightweight razor typically, but uh, so far the weight on this feels good in my hand. I haven't shaved with it yet. All right, so the initial shave with this. I use the strange lip blade. I don't usually use strange lip blades. I find them a little bit tuggy, but I figured they're included with the travel case that comes with it. Uh, we might as well try them out a few more times, right? That makes sense. And I still felt it a little bit tuggy. Breaking down the safety razor, um, it is a solid piece of Bakelite plastic here uh, with the inset little screw receiver there which is pretty cool I like that and then uh, the Bakelite marble-esque looking comb piece it's kind of neat there's channels in there which I'm assuming is to run the soaps and stuff out of it there's little feeder holes at the bottom as well which is kind of cool and the gold plated top cap which I think it's brass gives this razor the weight because the handle is pretty light the comb is also pretty light so it is a top heavy razor, but where I hold my razor, which is typically closer to the top, uh, like right up here, not a huge deal for me. I actually like having the weight where it is because when I hold it like that, it's balanced as opposed to back here where it wants to fall down. So it's balanced where I hold it, which makes it a good shaver for me. First impressions, I'm gonna try a few different razor blades in it. Not a strange like guy, but I am a super fan of this razor so far uh the open combs like that kind of thing it's more efficient without having a big gaping hole uh for blade exposure and things like that the uh the case here is very nice it says artifact on the top you get a 10 years of epic certificate in there which is pretty cool and tells you the story about the artifact uh safety razor and then there's this like 
orange leatherette flap on it. And then I said four tucks, but it's actually just three tucks. So one, two, and then the third one can go there. And then there's a space cut out specifically for the artifact. And it goes right in there. There is this uh, string here, which is cool. So you put the razor in there, tuck it away, tuck. Zip it up, throw it in your bag. You get yourself a good time on your face. And then to pull it open, you just pull that string. It brings the handle up and the razor out. For me, the construction on this is really superior. I'm assuming this isn't real leather, knowing Dougie, uh, him being, you know, a vegetarian or a vegan, whatever he does, I know he doesn't eat meat. And a lot of people that don't eat meat don't like leather things too. Case is pretty nice for what it is. It's definitely fancier than a tin I got from Yates for their razor. The haircut and shave co, I like that one just because it's got that Pelican case-esque kind of feel to it. And, uh, but the razor itself so far, first impressions, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna try a few more razor blades in it, but so far I like the way that it feels in the hand. And I think if I get the right blade on it, it's the next day. I shave with the Astra Superior Platinum, my go-to blade and a lot smoother. I ended up going with two passes in my first shave using the strange lip blade that I don't usually use. Pretty smooth. Damn fine shave, I would say. Practically baby butt smooth. My problem areas like my chin, pretty good. Uh, my neck, good. Damn fine for a two pass shave, I'm impressed. Uh, $59.95, it's a palindrome price, $5995. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. So thanks Dougie for making it like that. Honestly, I think the razor itself is worth more than $59.95. And I feel like the case too is worth more than $59.95. Both are of top notch quality in my first impressions and my first impressions on this are very impressed. Uh, I will continue playing around with it. So as I continue using it, Feel free to ask me questions about it if you haven't pulled the trigger on it yet. I imagine these suckers will go fast. Happy 10 year birthday, Phoenix Shaving. Thanks for uh, making my face feel good. If you wanna check out their Black Shroud soap, you can find out what I think about that there. I'll talk to you soon.